Please stand as we begin the ceremony. Entering the arena first are graduates carrying gonfalons representing the seven schools at the Ira A. Fulton Schools of Engineering. They are led by Murte Dayank, outstanding graduate computer science, carrying the Fulton Schools of Engineering gonfalon. I like the spirit of ASU Engineering. Let's try this. A S U. 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 ASU! ASU!
please be seated. Graduates, you leave here today transformed. You studied hard and passed that one nearly impossible class or test. You were willing to adapt. You published papers, presented posters, and pitched new ideas. You competed for funding, programmed advanced algorithms, built novel structures, materials, cells, and circuits. Along the way, you responded to the needs of our community with your time, your knowledge, and your caring. You are the visionaries, the makers, the doers, the builders, and the engineers who have learned the skills to make the world a cleaner, safer, more sustainable place. Now's the time for you to step forward and thrive. Our ceremony officially begins with the placing of the sacred ceremonial lightsaber, which dates back in Fulton School's lore to the time of the slide rule. Performing this ritual is Vice Dean James Colafello. Now to lead the ceremony is Dr. Kyle Squires. Vice Provost for Engineering, Computing, and Technology, ASU, and Dean of the Ira A. Fulton Schools of Engineering. Well, good afternoon. Good, good afternoon and welcome to the Fulton Schools of Engineering Convocation and welcome to our graduates. Graduates, there's only one question today. Who's ready to graduate? To everybody else sitting up in the audience, who's ready to see them graduate? It's more like it. So it has been 24 months since we gathered in person to celebrate our graduates. It's been about 20 months since we did something significantly in person as we are today. That's a long time, and in fact, it feels like forever ago. Through the pandemic, we've all faced various levels of disruption and displacement, but many of us have also endured incredible loss. So before we continue, I'd like to take a moment. I'd like to take a moment to recognize and respect those who are not with us today and those who have greatly suffered because of COVID. Thank you. So, as we move along, it is the case for our students, the greatest outcomes from all that we do in the Fulton Schools of Engineering revolve around the idea ideas that we generate, the knowledge that we produce, and most importantly, the students that we graduate. Today, that means 1,667 graduates who will make their mark at what is the best time ever to be a builder, a technologist, a scientist, an engineer. Officially, becoming a graduate of the Fulton Schools of Engineering is an accomplishment and distinction you will carry with you for the rest of your life. So today, we are honored to recognize and celebrate your years of hard work and dedication and join you for the ceremonial passage from the Fulton Schools to whatever awaits in the journey ahead. For about the past two years, you've had a front row seat as a global crisis drove us all to pivot and adapt. Despite those challenges, uncertainties, those circumstances also inspired remarkable innovation and opportunities for advancement. I know I speak for the faculty and staff when I tell you that we are proud of how many of you took an active role in accelerating that progress by lending your research, your ideas, your volunteer hours to help our communities emerge stronger and more adaptable than ever before. And we do indeed thank you so very much. 
We also hope your time as a Fulton School student has shown you what it means to engage in transformational work that extends beyond technological know-how to developing solutions for the, for the public good. At the undergraduate level, that process you've undergone of lear learning, doing, designing, building inside the classroom and outside means you emerge as a graduate who can learn anything, do anything, and literally go wherever you want. At the graduate level, you enter your respective fields with the ideas, discoveries, translational outcomes, advanced coursework that make you a master learner of your discipline and a leader in research performed at the very highest levels that enables you to set the future direction of your fields. And here at the Fulton Schools, you can be assured that we will continue to evolve to meet societal needs. And at the core of that evolution are the faculty, creators of that knowledge, those ideas, discoveries, and transmitting that knowledge so skillfully to our students. So the themes that run through today, and hopefully this entire week, celebration, happiness, joy, and indeed reflection. Key to reflection is acknowledging all of those who have helped you get here. So first, will the parents and grandparents of our students please stand and be recognized? These are your kids, growing up, ready to change the world. Thank you for letting us be a part of their lives. Next, will the spouses, significant others, and children of our graduates please stand and be recognized? You, you kept them grounded. You probably supported them during their education. You probably also reminded them that being a professional student, not a viable career path. But thank you for supporting and motivating our students. Next will the friends, siblings, boyfriends and girlfriends of our graduates please stand and be recognized. Unfortunately, you were the distractions. <laughs> you may have encouraged our students to blow off studying for an evening out. You may have been responsible for poor grades on homeworks or quizzes. You may have tried to convince them to change their major. But you also helped balance our students' predisposition towards being socially challenged. We thank you for that as well. Next. Will the K-12 teachers and community college faculty present today please stand and be recognized? So our students are here because of you. They are here because of you and your colleagues. Thank you for helping spark the motivation of a student to continue their education and pursue engineering or another STEM field. Now today, we are also honored to have with us on stage six golden graduates, meaning alumni who graduated 50 or more years ago. I'd like to ask them to please rise and remain standing while I call your names. George Beakley III. John Corsetti. James Gross, Wayne Hedrick, Leslie Olson, and Stephen Trimble. I would also like to ask all of the alumni of the Fulton Schools of Engineering in any of its iterations or names to also please join them. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. So graduates, do remember, 
your educational experience is unlike that of any class before you. Some things will always change, others will remain constant. One of those is your degree. The knowledge, skills, and values you gain in pursuit, those will continue to have a lasting impact on the world around you. We do have every confidence that as you transition from student to graduate, you are prepared to embrace change and when necessary to inspire that change. So do trust in your ability to create, to produce, to never stop learning, to see change as an opportunity for innovation. We celebrate you, your accomplishments, your hard work, and your willingness to help engineer a better world. So again, to our graduates, congratulations. Thank you. Please welcome George Beakley III, one of our Golden Graduates. He received a Bachelor's of Engineering Science in 1970 and a Master's of Industrial and Management Systems in 1971. The Beakleys are a proud Sun Devil family. Thank you. Hello, Devils. I won't, I won't ask you how you're doing because I already know. You have finished matriculating, and now you can officially call yourself a graduate. So in other words, you're doing terrific. But you have to wonder, who is this guy? And why is he speaking to us at our graduation? Well, my name is George Beakley, and I have a few connections with you that are relevant to today. But before I go down that rabbit hole, I would first like to take a moment to thank Jennifer Williams for finding me, and to both Jennifer and Dean Squires for offering me the opportunity to speak to you on your graduation. Now for that rabbit hole and some connections. 50 years ago this coming spring, I was sitting in your seat, waiting to receive my master's degree in industrial engineering. Well, not actually in your seat, because you were in that seat. My seat had me, my wife Penny, plus I had a six-month-old daughter at the time. I had my first job offer in hand. I was to start out as a process engineer with General Electric, and for the outrageous salary of $11,000 a year. Can you believe it? That six-month-old daughter, well, she is connection number two because she is sitting with you today and she will receive her Master of Science in Graphic Information Technology. Her name is Sarah Beakley Marcel and she is currently a professor at Scottsdale Community College home of the fighting artichokes. But, 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 as she has completed her Bachelor of Science at ASU, and now her Master of Science here at the Polytechnic campus, she's really a devil through and through. <laughs> we are so proud of her. Now the third and most significant connection that I have with you today is that in 1956, my father, same name, George Beakley, moved to Tempe, Arizona. As you kids would say, he was the real original. Dr. Beakley, another, along with another brilliant educator, Dr. Lee P. Thompson, they started your engineering program here, inside a small teacher's college called Arizona State College. The key to their success was the creation of the engineering core that would be required for all students. The engineering core provides the bridge between mathematics, basic sciences, and engineering practices. Those are my dad's words, not mine. From that beginning is what you have here today one of the most prestigious engineering schools in the country. He would be so proud 
of how you have transformed, continued, and expanded his vision for the education and development of future engineers. If you are interested, oh, I lost my place. If you are interested in a more complete history, please visit the February issue of the ASU Full Circle website for a terrific recap penned by Joe Coleman entitled Prime Mover Leading the Evolution. During my business career as an engineer, I have had some measure of success, and most of it can be attributed to my engineering education here at ASU. I learned, just as you did, all about free body diagrams, enthalpy, entropy, strength of materials, differential equations, and all the rest. But the most important thing I learned in that freshman design class that is part of the engineering core was how to solve problems. Specifically, that design class taught me how to use the scientific method to solve really tough problems. What a powerful tool to have in your toolbox. Now, I am not suggesting that you have to do a double-blind experiment with an N over 50 every time you have a problem to solve. However, what I am suggesting is that you let the independent data, which tests your hypothesis of the solution, speak to you. It may not turn out to be the most popular outcome for your peers, but most likely it will be the correct answer. I will say, overall, that this strategy has worked out pretty well for me, and I am confident that it will work out for well for you too. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We also spent a lot of time learning the slide rule in that first design class. It was pressed on us as super important to master, an engineer's best friend, which of course ending ha ended up having no, absolutely no value after graduation due to the advance of science and engineering, everyone had moved on to the calculator. Congratulations to Dean Squires and the rest of the academic engineering community for your success and for your focus on always looking to the future for improvement, expansions, and inclusiveness. You graduates embody what the ASU engineering program is capable of imparting on students. Intellect, tenacity, scientific knowledge, and the ability to solve tough problems. Once again, congratulations, go out and change the world, and go Devils! Thank you, George. So next, we'd like to hear from three exemplary members of the fall 2021 graduating class. Computer engineering graduate Adwith Malpe served as president of both the Python Users Group and the Artificial Intelligence Club. He was also an assembly member of the Graduate and Professional Student Association, where he helped establish the first-gen initiative at ASU. That's an effort to help seniors and first-generation college students prepare for grad school and find ways to enrich their learning experience. Adwith will stay in Arizona as a software engineer at Boeing. Next, a true global, global citizen, electrical engineering graduate, Celine Singh, found success studying through the Fulton School's ABET accredited online modality. Not only did Celine find a way to connect her passion to her, in, her degree program, she also helped engineering students connect with each other by starting the social club, Sun Devil Engineers. She was also a member of the IEEE Student Chapter and the Society of Women Engineers. Her ultimate goal is to become a neuroengineer. Finally, aeronautical management technology graduate Rachel Schantz comes from a family of aviators. She joined the air traffic management program at the Polytechnic campus and served as a recruitment assistant, an undergraduate teaching assistant for the air traffic control tower simulator, and a course grader. 
After graduation, Rachel will pursue a master's degree in aviation management and human factors during the plus one of her four plus one accelerated graduate program. To the, to the a video. Graduates, we made it. After spending countless hours working hard, our resiliency has finally paid off as we are about to move on to the next big chapter of our lives. If you asked me about six years ago, if I thought I would have been a university graduate, I probably would have laughed at you. Each one of you has worked extremely hard to get here, but no individual is able to succeed without the support of their community. As a recruitment assistant for the Fulton Schools, I have probably answered the question, why ASU, at least once a week for the past three years of my life. Why should I come to ASU? Why should I send my child to ASU? And really my answer has always been the same. People at ASU are unlike people anywhere else. I know that might sound cheesy, but I do genuinely mean that. The compassion that the faculty demonstrate is immeasurable and the diversity within the student body is invaluable. I was supported by Fulton faculty, fellow students, and I was encouraged to be nothing but myself. All of the faculty members I've ever had the privilege to learn from are nothing but kind and supportive. My freshman year, I was enrolled in a course called Aircraft Power Plants. The first week, I didn't say much, I didn't raise my hand, and I definitely didn't try to work on the engine. But the second week, I will never forget Professor Jimmy Kimberly coming over to my team, pulling a wrench out of my classmate's hand, handing it to me and saying, she's gonna do one. It's not like it was back in my day and she's gonna do one. Let us take the meaningful lessons and wisdom from each individual we have met and apply it to our daily lives to become better. I have always valued ASU's charter statement, which says that we are valued not by whom we exclude, but by whom we include. And I have experienced firsthand how the ASU community prioritizes this inclusivity in a meaningful way. Being a first generation student from the Little Island of Trinidad definitely made me question my presence at this massive university so far from home. So I found myself battling with the self-doubt for a long time. But what I didn't know is that while attending ASU, I would find a home. I would find myself. Let us take this time to remember the challenges and obstacles we had to overcome that ultimately made us who we are. So yes, I started university quite confused, but I'm leaving as a confident, empowered woman ready to tackle any challenges that life is about to throw onto my part. Each of us have had our own battles to fight throughout our journeys, and we won by dedication and perseverance. Without hard work, sacrifice, and the intrinsic motivation to succeed, we would not be here today. You have battle stories that maybe no one knows or everyone knows about. You have been stuck, you have overcome it, and you are here today. So as I look around at everyone graduating today, some of you I know and some of you I don't, please know that I am grateful for our shared experiences at this great institution. The strong connections we have made contributed to the development of our growth mindsets. All of us walking across the stage today will share an unbreakable bond as ASU graduates and alumni, and that is so cool. Whether it took you four years to get here or 40, today is a testament to your achievement, and you deserve to celebrate that. Look at where you are right now, and don't think of the future or where you could have been today. Just what you are in this moment, where you are right now, and tell yourself, I am proud of you. Remind yourself, why are you doing this? What is the end goal? Continue to carry everything you have learned during your time at ASU throughout the rest of your journey. And because I know all of us sitting here today are overachievers, I want to take the opportunity to remind you that while our goals and ambitions are important, life passes us by too quickly to put off living in the moment. So graduates, as we transition onto our new adventures, remember to take a moment, be patient with yourself, and don't forget to make time for the things in life that truly make us human. I am proud to walk across the stage with all of you today, and above all, I am so proud that my diploma is going to say Arizona State University, and I hope you all share that pride with me. Stay hungry, think positive, be resilient. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors, and thank you.
Welcome back to the podium, Dean Kyle Squires. So next, it is my great pleasure to introduce a man that has changed his life several times over. Homegrown hero, a successful businessman who never forgot the lessons that his mother taught him about helping others. He and his late wife, Mary Lou, invested $50 million into President Crow's vision to transform engineering at ASU. They are the reasons we have an undergraduate research program, scholarships for top students around the country, world famous faculty, and the reason that we have become the leading engineering program, having grown from about 6,000 students in 2003 to more than 27,000 students this year. He has been there for you at E2, Fury Symposia and scholarship events. He recently celebrated his 90th birthday. To some of you, he is Dr. Fulton, or Mr. Fulton, within our family, though. He's Ira. Please welcome Ira A. Fulton. I think I'm getting older, but I really don't believe it. <laughs> when I look out over this group this morning, I was thinking of my freshman year at Arizona State, 1950. That's 71 years ago. Wow. Prior to that, I went to Ira D. Payne Training School here at the college. And prior to that, I went to Tiffy High School. So within about four and a half blocks of my home, I got all my education. I was called a homegrown student. But you know, the biggest thing is the thrill I see of what's happening, the excitement, because well, when I, I don't want to brag, but I'm, my corporation has always been in Tempe, and I've left it here. Uh, when, I, when, when I met Michael Crow, our great president, somehow he found out that I was interested in doing something here. Not really, but so Michael, Michael got a hold of me. And this is in 202, and we talked for a while, and he says, Ira, he says, let's make it number one engineering college. I said, well, what do you think it'll take? He said, oh, probably around 50 million. <laughs> I said, if it's, if it's that high, I got to go ask my wife. <laughs> oh, and I, I did tell her what I was wanting to do. And she says, can we afford it? I said, well, I'll have a little left over. But I'll tell you, I love this. I love my little town of Tempe. I, I was born at 812 Mill Avenue. That's where that Chase Bank is now. The, the drugstore was Dr. Patterson's home where I was born in 31. So I've just, I've had such a wonderful life. And it's all come from just being a, living in a little old Tempe, growing up and delivering papers, working in my mother's cafe. And everybody said, well, how does it feel, Ira, when you're real rich? I said, it's better than being poor. <laughs> I had both that opportunity. But I've been, I've been awful blessed. I, the, the engineering, Michael Crow just, he made me step forward. And not only do I have a, the engineering college, I have the, uh, the Mary Lou Fulton School of Education, my sweetheart. And she, she's been gone for about seven years now, but she still tracks, she still checks on me. She has to, I'm too honorary. But you know, but, but thinking about all of, looking out over this audience, looking at some of you beautiful students here today, I don't want to be talking a lot, but I just can't help but brag about you and this college. 25% of our faculty on this campus is female. 25%. You know how hard it is to find? There's a lot of us macho guys around, but not the, not the young ladies in engineering. So we've, we, we've, did, we've, we've gone along. This, in the last three years, we have actually patented 266 patents 
in this college. In the last three years, we've had 31 startup companies from this college. Now I want to talk to you. You know, I look at you as my ROI, return on investment. So, because I need you to help me pay the taxes, okay? <laughs> the way this government spends money, it's going to take a lot more than this, but we'll try. I don't get political. I say, I don't really turn the car, we'll turn paying taxes. I love supporting students. I love giving you the opportunity to excel in what you're going to do. And what the good news about and I, I, I'm very excited to tell you is the master's program in this college. The, all programs are great, but the master's program this year is $30,000 more starting salary than, than, than bachelor's. That means if you go to college two more years, you'll make, you'll make $300,000 in the first 10 years and you make a half a million in the first 10, if nothing happens. So the, the, the master's the bachelor program is great, but I want everybody to be masters. I don't know how many dean we have. Is there four plus one? How many students do we have here that, you, that took advantage of our short-term master's program? 4.1. Stand up, stand up. Stand up, guys, come on. Yeah. Woo. Now leave your name at the front so I can give it to IRS. <laughs> but, but again, when you look at what, what's happening in the master's program, it's just fantastic. And this, today, today, my dear friend from Motorola wasn't able to make it, but we didn't have a college here in engineering until 58. You know why? We weren't smart enough. So we had to get smart students like you. But we, so it's, our little college of engineering is, is only since 58. We're now number one and have been in the country. And I also know that we're number one in teacher education in the country. So I know that I'm on the good side of my wife. <laughs> the, the dean mentioned that we we're at 27, we're 27,000 liking one student. 20, 26,999. So one more student. So he fizzed, he fizzed a little bit, one student. <laughs> and I could be the dean. <laughs> but I'll tell you, it's, it's just so exciting. Our youngest student graduating here today is 19 and our oldest is 65. Because everybody's always saying, well, why are you in engineering? I said, that's what all the smart people are. So when I invested in engineering, what happened in about 2004, I'd spent a lot of money on education. And the National Academy of Engineers Construction called me back to Chicago to, in, 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 to in, induct me into the National Chairman, National Honor College. I went back there for about two days and said, hey, I don't belong here. These guys are way above my level. So when we, when we went to the Palmer House that night to, to, to do my acceptance speech, I said, before I tell you I am not an engineer, I'm a football coach from a little old town called Arizona State. They said, that's OK, Ira. We don't have two universities named after us in engineering. You are an engineer. So I became a doctor. How do you like that? just because of my checkbook. <laughs> yeah, I, somebody said, how do you get those degrees? I said, write a check with lots of zeros. <laughs> and that means you're helping a lot of people. Give you an idea, 50 million invested in this college 22 years ago. You know what, it's, it's earned an interest? 114 million for scholarships. It's a, That's what gives Ira the, the incentive of doing it because 
the other day, I don't know if you know what the secret was, but I, I, just, I just turned 90. And I got to... And I'll tell you, I feel great. I, I love what I do, and I, I'm just so excited for you. I'm going to have to, I won't, I could sit up here and talk all day, but I'm not going to. Uh, well, you're not interested in that. Nah. <laughs> I could just chit, 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 chat all the time. What the biggest thing is, is our program on, in, on online I don't even need to talk about that either. Oh, let's forget it. I'm talking too much. But the most important thing is that I love you. I figured that if you can get here for graduation, I can crawl up to this door and stay and talk to you. <laughs> and you know something? I love our graduation. I love our summer camp. In fact, this summer, we're going to have number 100, right, Dean? Where we take the freshmen up and, and get them orientated for the first two days of summer camp. We started that about 14 years ago. And in this last year, we had over 2,000. Over the last time, it was a couple of years ago. But we just love doing it because it cuts turnover down. I don't want you dropping out of college. You can't afford to. And I mean, because I don't care what you do, a diploma puts you a long ways away. You can see the difference between if you're a bachelor going out, you're going to make about 70 grand, right? That, that's your average this year. If you, if you had your master's, it'd almost be 100,000. 97,000 is the average. Isn't that neat? Congratulations, guys and gals. What that boils down to, you can help me pay more taxes. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you for coming to my great college. And I want to wish you all a real Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays. Go get them, devils. Thank you. Please welcome Dean Squires back to the podium as we conclude the more formal, serious part of the program and transition to a more spontaneous, less predictable audience participation part of the ceremony. All right. So this is the time when all the students in this ceremony will be called by name to cross the stage and to receive their diplomas. So with the graduates, are supposed to maintain some air of respectability, but the audience is invited to be as loud and creative as possible in your expressions of congratulations. So to everybody assembled, are you ready to see these students graduate? Okay. So the way this works is the following. First, we're gonna start with our doctoral degree recipients. The PhD is a culmination of years of academic study, original research, fundamentally discovering something new, understanding what or why, convincing your peers that, that it's important. The outcome represents a contribution to your field's body of knowledge and the discoveries and achievements that are commensurate with the award of the PhD. What you will see, the graduation ritual for PhD students is the faculty advisor putting the doctoral hood around their neck that signifies completion of the PhD. After the PhD students, the master's students will come up to receive our congratulations. Each of them has completed 30 credit hours of advanced study beyond the bachelor's degree to become literally masters of their discipline. Many of our undergraduates, you just saw, take advantage of our four plus one accelerated programs that allow them to complete the bachelor's and master's in as little as five years. And then finally, we will applaud the accomplishments of our bachelor's degree recipients, some of whom, fair to say, have probably been here long enough to get both the master's and PhD. Before we proceed, I would like to acknowledge our highest achieving undergraduates. Could all students graduating from Barrett the Honors College or with some level of honors, cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude, also the Brainiacs, please stand.
Well done, congratulations. Next, would all of our graduates who are currently serving or have served in any branch of our nation's military please rise? So we thank you for your service. We should also recognize the readers for our ceremony, Peter Lafford and Dr. James Vermers, who will pronounce their names as you cross the stage. Thank you, Peter and James, for your dedication and commitment to this ceremony. Lastly, you may have noticed that some of our graduates have chosen very creative headwear today. We applaud today's graduates for their creativity and hope you will visit the Fulton School's Convocation website to check out a photo gallery of some of today's most artistic pieces. Friends, family, and guests, please welcome the class of 2021! One more word from Mr. Fulton. They sure pamper me. You know why? I got my name on the school. <laughs> but I have to, I just want to tell you, I want to be excused by you. I want you to know that I look at you as my adopted children. So if anybody ever says what college you went to, you say, I went to my grandpa's college. <laughs> God bless you. There you go. by Dr. Gupta. Ife Shu. Hooded by the director of the dissertation. Simon Benjamin Shtepuriz. Hooded by Dr. Chital Baran. Ryan Gunkel. Hooded by Dr. Dai. Ketut Ayu. Hooded by Dr. Titu Mirchandani. Denise Capasso da Silva. Hooded by Dr. Huini. Gina Margaret Doomkrieger. Hooded by Dr. Pitu Mirchandani. Shivam Sharda. Hooded by Dr. Ram Pendyala. Kaustav Mondal. Hooded by Dr. Stephen Phillips, director. Tai Hui Kim. Hooded by Dr. Ram Pandyala and Dr. Zhishang Zhu. Umesh Prasad. Hooded by Dr. Arunachala Madakana. Cassandra N. Hickey. Hooded by Dr. Stara, Sarah Stabenfeld. Avant P. Badami, hooded by Dr. Candice Chan. Alan Marie Fumasi, hooded by Dr. Julianne Holloway. Louis A. Ritchie, hooded by Dr. Meng Tao. Farshid Damir Chilo, hooded by Dr. Elham Fini. Ye Wan Yu, hooded by Dr. Adolfo Escobedo. Brett Aaron Wainwright, hooded by Dr. Mark Mignolet.
Kevin William Nichols. Hooded by Dr. Sangram Redgar. Morgan Jones. Hooded by Dr. Matthew Pete. Sushil Kumar. Hooded by Dr. Sangram Redkar. Mohammad Kejina Jan. Hooded by Dr. Dai. Kiraneswar Mutuzini. Hooded by Dr. Hugh Barnaby. Arvind Ramachandran. Hooded by Dr. Pendyala. Jung Da Zhang. Hooded by Dr. Chin Le. Jameson Kendall Velheisen. Hooded by Dr. Mehdi Nika. Alicia Helbrick. Hooded by Dr. Helmrich. Tara Niepsold. Hooded by Dr. Mariana Bertoni. Marzeya Rahimi. Hooded by Dr. Mary Nicha. Elam Azari, hooded by Dr. Verdul. Dipanjan Ghosh, hooded by Dr. Kalshal Rege. Mohammed Kayatian, hooded by Dr. Aviral Srivastava. Sunny Anand Natekar, hooded by Dr. Abbas Dagan. Shakiba Yagubi, hooded by Dr. Aviral Srivastava. Rain Richard, Rain Richard, hooded by Dr. Boyer. Sarah Bakley Mercil. Gwen Wang. Hooded by Dr. Mina Johnson. Pei Yuan Li. Hooded by Dr. Jihua Wang. On the left side, Dr. Marco Santello, Director, School of Biological and Health Systems and Engineering, will greet the master's degree candidates in biomedical engineering. On the right side, Dr. Anne McKenna, Vice Dean of Strategic Advancement and Acting Director for the Polytechnic School and the School of Manufacturing Systems and Networks, will greet the master's degree candidates in aviation management and human factors, engineering, environmental and resource management, Graphic Information Technology, Human Systems Engineering, Information Technology, Management of Technology, Manufacturing Engineering, Robotics and Autonomous Systems, and User Experience. Grant R. Brown. Aniket Chandrasekhar Lolam. Stephen Michael Rojo. Rahul Pundir. Kevin Min Tu, Ashley Ann Castellucci Bates, Amanda Chu, McKenna L. Ellicott, <laughs> Teresa Janae Sloan, Chiang Chow, Angelica Beatriz Gutierrez, Jaime Baeza. 
Sasha Haku, Cesar Medeiros, Spencer Tracy Cobb, Shreyas Katapadi Pai, Bat El Eden Shabtai, Kelly Michelle Radcliffe. On the left side, Dr. Sandeep Gupta, Director, School of Computing and Augmented Intelligence, will greet the master's degree candidates in computer engineering, computer science, engineering science, industrial engineering, and software engineering. Jason Michael Foskey, Amog Mahesh Chandra Baba, Christian Demino, Kushagar Jolly, Linda Yuen Win, Rajat Kumar Bansal, Austin Clark, James Pierce Kylie. Lindsay Robinson, Parish Mandapakar, Shamla Arun Nulain, Kameswar Rao Vedula, Sarah Richards, Arun Kumar S. Somalinga Bhaskar, Prajakta Shashikant Rampure, Aditya Badram Raju, Jordan Milner, Anil Charles Ray Patti, Tegan M. X. Findler, Shadi Kodadadi, Connor William Nelson, Ryan Jeffrey Brinkley, Nicolette Cheyenne Shirey, Curtis J. Green, Rakesh Kumar Mayalaram, Brandon Connor Bayless, Erika Jasmine Andrade, Austin Mack, Anna Khan, Vanida Viseson, Jordan Yapel, Kevin Michaels. Human Mishael, Arnold J. Patton II, Abdul Samir Baig Mogal, Kamalesh Kaliratinam, Amy Crawford, Connor Sai Wardell, Ramya Nagaraj, Colin Irving Dilworth, Rashmi Lingerkar, Garrett Leon Bloomquist, Kaushik Mahadevkar, Carlos Ramiro Soto, Andrew Fogas, Prushant Ravindra Jadav, William Eugene Fitchett, Krishna Bankar, Pujita Kakireni, Akshay Ramesh Bandari, Alexis Ray Prince, Ajit Ramesh Mali, Priyan Kaushikbhai Rao, Mansi Manish Panpaliya, Yash Gupta, Ria Mehta, Akshay Hemant Pimpal Gangar, Tiffany Tafik, Varun Jayant Chowdhury, Adrian Pantia, Abhilash Kumar Chowdhury, Anai Paul, Abdul Rahman Al Fail Larkawi, Shika Kumari, Muhammad Al Kuwaitin, Avi Basha. Meshari Al Hatim, Akshar Direndrabai Patel, Rahul Rawat, Kent P. Sanders, Mohammed Al Muhtasib, 
Glenn Fernandez, Chandana Kandari, Shreya Madan, Tori Takahashi, Madeline Roshi, Tameki K. Jaguna, Aparokshit Rao, Matt Parsons, Sanjay Arivalagan. On the right side, Dr. Lenora Dai, Director, School for Engineering of Matter, Transport, and Energy, will greet the master's degree candidates in aerospace engineering, chemical engineering, materials science and engineering, mechanical engineering, modern energy production and sustainable use, and robotics and autonomous systems. Abhi Lalit Kumar Parekh, Jonathan Scott Christen, Anil Kota, Alex Gardek, Rishabh Gupta, Jeremy Klein, Rachel Renee Rich, Michelle Chu, Atin Singhal, Vinit Nair, Maria Vargas, Adinat Avadut Kshir Sagar, Priyanka Ravindra Zar, Audrin Alex Joseph, Wu Yi Wang, Pinak Pramod Padman, Shi Yu Chang, Shetij Kushal Bodhankar, Alice Ying Bing Wang, Parth Rajiv Paradkar, Wei Zhou Kong, Christopher Charles Handjis, Sadiq Alvarez, Kristen Lee Ekman, Edgar Chaidez, Luca Benjamin Robbins, Diego Kos, Surya Shekhar, James Fung Truong, Aditya Bodke, Shivam Raval, Tanmay Danote, Om Rakesh Bhai Takar, Subhagya Nayak, Dhruv Pradip Popat, Paria Amadi, Nikhila Saini, Ryan J. Sao, Venisha Sukameti, William Alejandro Correa Morales, Naga Sai Krishna Kuran, Vu Nguyen Fan, Toen Tamson Nguyen, Rohan Sharma, Michael Ray Chai, Yash Mandlik, Paul David Vos, Naga Venkata Sai Barga Ram Eleswarapu, Matthew Aaron Budiman, Avi Brambat, Dalton Charles Turner, Abhishek Joshi, Kasturi Chandra Prakash Adeb, Chintan Shah, Bhargavi Neti, Arnav Bahadur, Shafquat Bakhtiar, Isai Valdivia Leos, Kriti Gupta, Juan Jose Morales, Srinivas Valadaneni, Joseph Karim, Vaishali Kankanala, Alan Smith Buinza, Harika Koli, Dizani Dandi, Vinekumar Itagi, Gadisa Berkesar, Amit Sharma, Shantanu Ulhas Lanki, 
Ryan Kittle, Shiva Sagar Nital, Ganesh Ashok Yalankar, Manish Sai Einhala, John Bernal, Shredda Manoj Kali Perintodi, Christopher A. Kala, Kunj Kishor Bai Parma, Ahmed Ismail Kali, Jared Arthur Nettles, Naga Sai Aishwarya Talapragada, Yuye Ran, Gautami Kanchu Katla, Dallas Wayne Wells, Sai Maduri Moletti, Lily Catherine Bay Wallace, Rajasri Chendupati, Christy Senavangsa, Gayathri Aloju. On the right side, Dr. Ram Pandyala, Director, School of Sustainable Engineering and the Built Environment, will greet the master's degree candidates in civil, environmental, and sustainable engineering, construction engineering, construction management, environmental engineering, and sustainable engineering. Nevedita Kailasan, William Jason Rowe, Eric King, Alexander Franklin de Oliveira Castro, Kai Yin, Saif K. Mohammed, Gnanavi Ratna Punjala, Anson Chow, Venkat Krishna Sai Kaukuntla, Fabio Samudio Quintero, Pradnaya Suryakant Tekade, Emily Kingman, Sukirti Ranga, Rishita Kolipara, Sanika Shinde, Paromita Bhattacharya, Sumya Kare, Benaz Sab Srija Saha, Benaz Sabagi, Hiwad H. M. Mao, Asmi Vijaya Patnaik, Lalita Rashmi Ravikanti, Arijit Panda, David Anthony Boston Jr., Raul Jain, Aditi Amit, Vaibhav Kamat, Amiyali Santibanez, Alexander Hamilton Schultz, Elfrin Joel Cologne, Prasant Sukhapali, Mary Abigail Davis, Amandeep Singh Aurora, Brian Bernard Rudolph, Akash Aurora, Akshay Kumar, Arjun Makam, Ankit Baga, Nikunj Jain, Riley Tesman, Aditya V. Diotali, Shafia Serhan, Sumitro Chowdhury, Pratik Reddy, Murtaza Shabir Rajagara, Dylan M. Sant, Anik Pat. On the right side, Dr. Stephen Phillips, Director, School of Electrical, Computer, and Energy Engineering, will greet the master's degree candidates in electrical engineering and computer engineering. Nimish Agrawal, Gokul Krishnan, Supratin Bhattacharji, Grishma Shashi Kumar, Viken Shaumitra Pari, 
Kartika Manilal. Suya Chakuri. Hashem Al Bahrani. Rasashika Ridi Aluka. Fakri Gassan Saad Deldin. Mithia Shri Upara. Mohammed Ahmed Al Hazmi. Hiba Kamal Akadlifa. Shailendra Tane Savala. Mit Patel. Datta Sai Ramalinga Surya Varma Kota Pali. Pranay Jagtap. Daniel Tien Hu Vo. Manish Seal. Ayana N. Har. Lavina Sachdeva. Josh Caballero. Manoj Kumar Yeloji Rao. Abhinav Dantalapali. Samir Pande. Sieda Lubna. Vatsala Janardan. Puja Kapan. Pratyusha Kodali. Rumana Mansur. Yamini Chaudari Kura. Ryan Alvarez. Prim Priti Patnala. Jonathan Garrett Lam. Karthik Mathpal. Shruti Padmanabhan. Nabid Khan. Sri Lalita Bamidipati. Aditya Nandakishor Bajaj. Navina Vakar. Rakesh Suresh Kumar. Christina Alcalde Khanna. Rohan Nayak. Austin Chow. Pinaki Saha. Sesha Akil Upadhyayula. Rishab Ranjit Kumar Jain. Chandra Kashyap Vatipali. Jihao Zhang. Soma Sundaram Selva. Luis Rodriguez, Francisco Ramiro Medina, Robert Maxwell Aller, Rafael Andres Acuna Briseño, Nolan Jack Lambing, Spurti Chayanat, Rahul John Joshi. Ricardo Douglas Toledo. Soheil Saini. Taylor Catherine Swanson. Medini Vuyuru. Naga Venkatesh Raja. Yashaswi Reddy Deme. Surya Golconda. Ashwin Baskaran. Aditya Vignesh Kauthaman. Masiala Sayed. Varsha. Sneha Agarwal. Chaitanya Nandigam. Trevor Van Engelhoven. Rajat Arora. Mesfed Alyami. Sartak Umesh Gadre.
Ivan Knezevic, Long M. Nguyen, Lily Zhang, Jaint Kumar Lagudura, Daniel Barboza, Shreya Kumar, Shrimayi Kanagala, Rajat B. Gudar, Let's congratulate all of our doctoral and master students again. Okay, so what is next? We're about halfway through the ceremony, and now we're going to begin to recognize our bachelor's graduates. The way this works, the first group of undergraduates we'd like to recognize are the Moore Award winners. These are the students graduating today, having earned all credits at ASU, while also achieving along the way a 4.0 grade point average. Not bad. Now, there's also going to be a little audience participation. That is, after we congratulate our more award winners, they'll stay on the stage, and then we're going to do the wave. We're going to do the wave as many times as it takes, so we get it right, we're going to do the wave. And the way that will work, it will start on stage, start here, it's going to go that way around three times. So more award winners, they'll stay on the stage, we'll start the way Sparky's going to lead us, we'll review it again, on to the more award. So. Yeah, yeah. Rachel Maria Schantz. Trevor Paul Mitchell. Rachel Maria Schantz. Trevor Paul Mitchell. Ethan Gilchrist. Sean Michael Deason. Kinshuk Agrawal. Catherine Zelda Norton. Salim Saud Al Sufi. Henry Zhao, Stephen Joshua Slayton, Daniel Stone Link, Lauren Wayner, Jason Patrick Kemp, Truxton Cook. Benjamin D. Miller, go, Connor Matthew Nail, Matthew Nolan, Jack H. Myers, right, that's the end of the board. There's no more. All right, so. Those were our more award winners. Let's congratulate them. So Sparky came in right over there, going to lead us in the way. We're going to go that way around the bowl. Cue the music. Let's begin.
So congratulations to our Moore Award students. You can exit the stage. You can also tell it's been 24 months since we did that. <laughs> and now on to our bachelor's graduates. On the right side, Dr. Marco Santello, Director, School of Biological and Health Systems Engineering, will greet the bachelor's degree candidates in biomedical engineering. Cassandra Guadalupe Sanchez. Courtney Danielle Newman. Leiden Jean McLaws. On the left side, Dr. Sandeep Gupta, Director, School of Computing and Augmented Intelligence, will greet the bachelor's degree candidates in computer science, computer systems engineering, engineering management, industrial engineering, informatics, and software engineering. Isabella Miyashima Germinario. Alexis Ascension Rea. On the right side, Dr. Anne McKenna, Vice Dean of Strategic Advancement and Acting Director for the Polytechnic School and the School of Manufacturing Systems and Networks, will greet the bachelor's degree candidates in Aeronautical Management Technology, Engineering, and Environmental and Resource Management, Graphic Information Technology, Human Systems Engineering, Information Technology, Manufacturing Engineering, and Technological Entrepreneurship and Management. Sohrab Mardani, Jason C. Lanpa, Kevin McShane, Galahad Anthony Davis, Abdullah H. Al Turaini, Brandon Thomas Olden, Mohammed Khalifa Mohammed Sayyid Al Kubaisi, Brittany Lynn Jennings. Calvin Asbury, Mackenzie Danielle Renhack, Jesus Canes, Julia Fogel, Simran Bala, Noah Schieffer, Ryan Andrew Newton, Alexander Allen, Ricardo Jose Lizarraga, Connor Anthony Norris. Raj Nirav Shah. Bryce J. Helgeson. Alex Manning. Barry Green. Javad Mahmoud Zadeh. Christopher Javon McRae Jackson. Ruben Bohorquez. Socorro Chaitez Ramos, Judy Kyle Tumbo, Mia Powers, Elise Tovo, Darioska Van Ravensway, Marin Jacob, Warren Center, Nitin Miyaporam, Caleb Tanner Stumbaugh, Andrew Athanasios de Maragonas, James Thomas Cancien, Su Ching Valencia, Zevi Lopez, Sai Sandilia Babe Pali Venkata, Dennis M. Roberts, Alicia Verma, James Gordon, Surya Manikanta Bodu, Kyle Richard Young, Trevor Anderson Buck, Micah Joseph Seacrest, Zachary Jack, David Way, Christian Isaac Joseph, Caitlin Allen, 
Chase James Whitaker Johnson, Samira Mohammed Saeed, Samantha Linda Nieta, Shannon Gettings, Hebelin Arleth Quezada, Alexis Slusher, Randy Rayan Mount, Joshua Enrique Vieira, Samuel Carson Thomas, Ryan Villanueva, Sophia Wren, Vanessa Bracken, Kiara Crawford, Kenna Marlene Zimmerman, Maya Spino, Frank Domenico Alessandro Cimino, Joshua Michael George, Celine Chung, Ryan Kenneth Thompson, Jasmine A. Brown, Brian So, Catherine T. Russinger, David Quintero, Abigail Orona, Grant Tanner Divilbis, Edmund Engsung Dong, Yang George Wilkinson, Cole A. Andre, Catherine Ann Wills, Tristan Arnold, John Joseph Blair, Yu Xuan Hu, Katrina Hammond, Man Ki Hu, Joshua Yap, Miguel Angel Quen, Dustin Wilson Johnson, Ji Hao Shen, Isabel Marie Zimmerling, Owen Lawrence O'Toole, Kristen Alyssa Helgevold, Zachary M. Dillabo, Lan Nguyen Horto, Jacob Alexander Kasavan, Isaiah Gurula, Marco Antonio Villalobos Eribes, Colton Conan, Anne Grace Weisbecker, Ashlyn Amy Bruff, Matthew Cable Merrill, Sarah Huffman, James Wilman, Christy Lee Fur, Orlando Cota, Victor Johnson, Patrick David Merkel, Trezor Longwa Lolika, Robert Earl Pennell V, Benjamin Michael Stefaniak, Linsu Velasquez, Brian Millet, Jason Abraham Jimenez, Sieda T. Akhtar, Gala Gutierrez, Karen D. Osborne, Gunnar Garand Gorton, Shelley Ann Linford, Benjamin W. Bricken, Sabrina M. Stevens, Jeremy Nuendank, Miguel Angel Garcia, Jake Alistair Hoekstra, Humud Yusef Al Musharraf, Omar Al Khatib, Carlos David Serminio Jr., Carlos A. Graciano Guerra, Serena M. Baca, Adam Nelson Hardy, Brandon Scott Updike, Jocelyn Zaman, Carson Cunningham, 
Stephanie Lee. Santonio Emmanuel Eccles. Jendrick Sean Dai Chan. Eric Leonard Tooley. Cameron Hysup Lee. Darcy Jana Cole. Venkat Ramaraju. Benigno Figueroa Guadarrama. Jayanth Rao. Nicholas Lee. Brandon Rodriguez. Justin Tex Quap. Luke Dantuono. Jonah Austin Galindez. Brianna Joy Donovan. Kirk Paradella. Jia Jun Kong. Jasmine De Guzman. Jacob A. Dayer. Phoebe Radize. Jemaya Rasan Martin. Michael Hutchinson. Brian Keith Moo. Belal Ahmed Shubi. Maxwell William Budlong Sylvester. Matthew Scott Ormiston. Chan Ling Maung. Richard M. Poole. Evan Sang. Kevin Michael Levanovic. Mercedes Lakale Ferguson. Nicholas Roger Garcia. Joshua Lynn McNeil. Mariah Thomas. Justin Ridmeyer. Gabriela Gonzalez. Dylan Bolsey. Kishan S. Dean. Yub Mulati. Alec Joseph Borland. Fernanda Nunez Peralta. Heather Suzanne Hill. Maximilian Xavier Polhill. Brianne J. Bartkus. Diraj Sharma. Aaron Jima. Cameron Tangwe. Oliver Ian Coleman. Vincent Orozco. Christopher Koselka. Brianna Danielle Seitz. Emily Ann Cheek. Matthew Sean Fleming. Ty B. Summers. Brandon Michael Watson. Ryan Chadwick Payan. Noah Dalus Lopez. Drake Boone. Andrew Bland. Corey Patrick De Los Santos. Thera Nicole De Fiesta Manuel. Rodrigo Andrade Acevedo. Adrian Hayes. Danielle Robb. Mirnes Bektash. Shazia Siddiqui Ali. Kumal Sanjay Patel. Stephen B. Shackner Jr. Abraham Johnson. Paulina Serna. Tyler J. Walters. Blaze Kaj Board. Roger W. Henry Jr. Hunter Jacob Khan, Cody Brock, Matthew James Wolger, Elizabeth A. Ramirez, Taylor Christian Howard Sr., Mei Jia Lu, Michael K. Stamitz, Mohammed Al Abdul Hai, Justin Yoshiaki Faik. Morgan Elizabeth Wayne, Jacob Philip Yoshitake,
Meredith Grula. Ian Breskin. Joshua McDowell Martin. Alan Jones. Dylan Jayanthan. Gary Keto. Magali Charalumbus. Sam H. Seidel. Christine Yim Bu. Diami Khalil Travis. Christian Mosqueda. David Michael Diner. Sui Hua Zhou. Ryan David Cost. Darlene Young. Jonathan David Monk. Ryan Sizen. Evencio Gamillo Hernandez. Nathaniel Charles Ferry. Mario A. Vega. Nicholas Andrew Vietri. Samara S. Simon. Ding Yu Luo. Eric Wayne Bird. Adam Heinrichs. Jacob Campbell. Gabriel Udoete. Michael Sadiq. Fatima Sabira Kazmi. Andrew James Warman. Valeria Yasmin Mora. Angelia Kimli. Brent Garcia. Alan Sellers. Valeria Flores. Christian J. Stewart. Jason Lipak. Thomas Isaac Casey. Samuel Angiano. Kendall J. Foster. Jacob Hedges Smith. Mohammed Midan. Braden Matthew Woodard. Alejandro Amaro. Rosa Mendoza, Abraham Jimenez Martinez, Abdulaziz Jaman Abakami, and on the right, Dr. Ram Pandyala will be Shashi. greeting. Dr. Ram Pandyala will be greeting students, graduates from the Civil Environment, Environmental and Sustainable Engineering Program. Gibson P. Sheji. Jean-Marc Lenotte Kamanda. Arlo Dizan. Ron James Bowler. Sergio Prieto. Justo Morales Jr. Jordan A. Tinsley. Kiana Afshari. Doa Kamil Al Esmail, Diana Golden, Saud Al Shatri, Jesse Allen Jones, Hamad Suleiman H. Al Balawi, Eric Giovanni Hernandez, Samuel Alex Miller, Derek Long. Nazla Fakira, Jesus Almaraz, Nina Elena Vuletic, Emily Pearson, Hein H. Ong, Michael Ruben Molina, Isaac Hunter Di Landis, Damaris Jean Keone, Andrew Ulysses Goodman, 
Antonio Roberto Ruiz III, Benjamin McElier, Andrew Holland, Wahid Khan, Nicholas Drake, Aaron Velasquez, Zachary David Grotiku, David Anchondo, Anton Nikitenko, Rohan Manishbai Patel, and Helena Alodia Widodo. And on the right, uh, Dr. Pandyala, these graduates are degree candidates in civil engineering, construction engineering, construction management and technology, and environmental engineering. Jonathan Pulgarin, William Gurgantov, Taryn Betts, Katie Sinclair, Nassar Ali Mustafa, Rima Almalki, Ronald Rufikiri Muheto, Stephen Abraham, Rosa Ruburi, Spencer Alejandro Child, David Allen Biganski, Charu Shaker, Tyler Nabahe Nakai, Kimberly Amber Hong, Tyson Victor Elias, Hannah Rose Pugh, Roberto Javier Alava Campos, Tyler James Hawk, Zijie Zhao, Victor Lucero, Tao Wu, Tai Daniel Holland, Vishnu Vijay Kumar, Trevor J. Blethen, Prakar Bajpi, Ali Faris Hussein. On the left side, Dr. Lenore Dai, Director, School for Engineering of Matter, Transport and Energy, will greet the bachelor's degree candidates in aerospace engineering, chemical engineering, materials science and engineering, and mechanical engineering. Leslie Giselle Bautista, Anthony Quesada, Kaylee M. Yazzie, Gavin J. Hamilton, Alejandro Munoz, Jorge Meraz Jr., Brooke Logan, John Clayton Minx, Tyler S. Walter, Teldon Larson, Eduardo de la Canal Jr., Ahmed Abu Nada, Araceli Lares, Seth David Melazgar, Carla Mariella Guillen, Tyler Richard Hancock, Gilberto Islas Diaz, Adin Purdegan, Stephen Michael Height, Gina Ordike, Spencer A. Samoa, Carlton Anders Peterson, Joseph Brandon Fisher, Dustin Paul Seeley, Sydney Regina Rydell, Sarah Callahan, Alyssa Rose Gomez, Nikola Hersegovac, Ali Riyad Ashur, Luciano Eric Garza, Rania Makawi, Joshua Daniel Adams, Jose Raul Maldonado Ortega, Saeed Abu Al Saud, Adelo Gutierrez, Koi Hun Bui, 
Rafael Gomez, Matthew J. McCarvey, Zachary Bowen Treziak, Gabriela Sandoval, Christopher Douglas Capen, Bart Jeffrey Clutter, Sheldon D. Bitsui, Saul Gonzalez, Damien Elijah de la Torre, Cesar Estrada, Jose Armando Maleon Calderon, Jesus Chaides, Fabian Hurtado, Aza Ahmed, Jesse Vasquez, Hassan Siddiqui, Diana Marie Palma, Shivani Patel, Canon Carson, Andrea Faith Rio, Elisa Morgan DeWitt, Efrain Valero Villavicencio Jr., Emma Eileen Bonham, Un Fan Gu, Desiree Rea Yazi, Yihan Shui, Marisa Rene Contreras, Dean Bauer Sara II, Abdulaziz Al Mufarej, Aaron Gobiel, Caleb Atnafi, Cameron Schaefer, Ali Khalid Al Saloon, Zachary A. Sanchez, Alan Janowick, Alexandria Ardente, Nicholas Michael Sims, Chester C. Antonick, Jr., David Benjamin Monk, William Douglas Alder, Leonardo J. Sandoval, Gabriela Paulina Sanchez, Zachary Daniel Fresquez, Alexis Hernan Rojas, Gregorio R. Sanford, Andrew Nicholas Prada, Chase Naka Ahiki, Marlon Figueroa Rios, Bryce Arthur Kepler, Kevin Grimm, Yusef Alduhaini, Anna Hayworth, Ali Rostam, Jonathan Joseph Arabia, Ahmed Taha, Krishan Park, Joshua Wood, Hari Mohan Sangha, Connor John Schaffner, Philip K. Michael Earl Oberdorf, Devin Bizak. On the right side, Dr. Stephen Phillips, Director, School of Electrical, Computer, and Energy Engineering, will greet the bachelor's degree candidates in electrical engineering. Natalie Joy Mofidi. Logan Robert Seberg, Nicholas Defigos, Lucas Kleip, Andrew Hodges, Nathan Andrew Throckmorton, Brandon Dang, Charles Wolf, Robert Rodriguez, Antonio Contreras, Craig Campbell Lind, Drew David Cornel, George Kostadinov, Stephen Michael Branson, Jeffrey Robert Logan, Heath Ryan Davis, Michael Anthony Quintana, Hayden Michael Brandt, Andrew Jones, Stephen Robertson, Christopher Adam Lombardo, 
Jim M. Stewart. Angel Daniel Valderrama. Sakura Swain. Jerwin Coates. Jeffrey Soriano. Kevin O'Brien. Alcides Rafael Mesa. Daniel Paul Kosednar. Clifton Heath Ramsey. Ryland Keith Schwann. Adam Leidinger. Joshua H. Heinz. Jared Michael Gale. John Andrew Stanislav. Jake Bartels. Benjamin Craig Rodenberger. Magali Osorio. Emilio Aguirre Sandoval. Preston Jarvis, Hilardo Chaydez, Michelle Tidwell, Troy Daniel Jones, Alyssa Janelle Ramsdale, Brendan Taylor Thompson, Christopher Jared Aliras, Tristan J. Ruggiero, Jacob Chase Siegel, Avery Rose Wagner, Erin Magania, Claudia Alexandra Luca, Erin M. Patterson, Chantel Victoria Navratil, Ashton James Frederick, Alberto Ramos Gutierrez, Christian Robert Aguilar, Eric M. Senanayaka, Samson Fan, Janet Duarte Nivares, Darren McCoy, Mohammed Yusef bin Hatem Al Bulushi, Melvin Mitchell Gator, Yeager Zenkov, Samantha May Martin. Brian Osman Mendonza, Michael Anthony Echeverria, Alan San Gigi, Vincent Alfred Joseph Espinoza, Kyler Madsen Loper, Kyle Spenick, Salvador Sanchez, Kyle Taylor Clifford. Kimberly Marisol Luna, Zach Saul, Mackenzie Salomonson, Abdul Hadi Sajwani, Salicia Rose Souza, Ahmed Alma Azmi, Tiffany Ritson, Ziad Khalid F. Al Sheri, Alexander Mahelona Akiu. Douglas Walschlager, Taylor Shea Doherty, Xavier Rogers, Blake Rosenthal, Saeed Saleh Musalam Nefle Al Magdul, Caleb Larry Dalton Gist, Mohammed Yusuf Mohammed Abdullah Al Khalid. Perian Dylan Blakesley. Ahmed Al Falahi. Karen Louise Hagstrom. Mohammed Rashid Al Shahi. Mason Anita Kvandi. Alawi Alaydaros. Jesus Peña. Adnan Alaydarus, Tommy Fan, Mubarak Mohammed Obaid Salmin Al Mansur, Kwan Kwan Tran, Mohammed Saeed Salem Al Marad, Eric K. Eshima, 
Abdurrahman al Menhali, Sultan Talal F. al Dosan, Saif Abdullah N. al Saif, Mohammed Salah Mohammedai. Isaiah Contreras Campbell, Hisham Mohammed Al Salimi, Mohammed Abdul Karim, Kendrick Johns, Fahad Khalid Al Gamin. Lucas Namir Huerta. Gabriel Adam Gutierrez. Garrett Doling Brayer. Tyler Ryan Farley. Dietrich Heinz Floyd. Chloe Jessica Carrier. All right. All right. We have one last group of students to cross the stage today. Every semester, our faculty select one undergraduate student from each degree program as their outstanding graduate. Those students designated as outstanding graduates based on their academic performance and for the contributions to the success of the Fulton School's mission. In addition, every semester, there's another group of students, our Impact Award recipients. These students are honored for their significant contributions and accomplishments beyond the classroom in areas of research, leadership, public service, social entrepreneurship endeavors, activities that have beneficially impacted the ASU community. We are also recognizing the graduates of the Grand Challenges Scholars Program. It's a co-curricular program recognized by the National Academy of Engineering that prepares future engineering leaders with the broader skill set and mindset they need to address grand challenges through participation in research project experiences, interdisciplinary coursework, study abroad, serving as mentors and leaders, and service learning projects. We'll bring them on next, and then we'll ask all of our graduates to stand and be recognized. Connor Miles Phillips. Connor Miles Phillips. Rihanna Blair Pearson. Sean C. Klontz. To Tran. Haley Elena Darling. Claire Miller Nichols, Daniel Bruce, Gabriel Hofer, Walker Austin Bentley, Daniel Alejandro Vergara Matresito. Elizabeth Janine Harris. Brandon Jacob Rice. Tyler Lorenzo Hatch. Kara Marie Ferguson. Laurel Marie Wright. Peyton Lance Brown. Joe Amemiya Osterkamp. Benjamin Isaac Murphy. 
Monica Ann Staniszewski. Edward Apraku. Carissa Gund. Maeve Kennedy. Don Kittelaine Watson. Rachel Davenport Scheller. Abraham John Gomez. Salim Ramrup Singh. Rachel Maria Shanks. Zachary Garrett. Martai Dayan. Alexander Jablon. Kellen A. Rose. Paul Richard Parker IV. Trevor Paul Mitchell. Adwif Malpe. Caesar Caretto. Sparky. All graduates, please rise. ASU Engineering, let's hear you. Congratulations to the class of 2021. One more round of applause, class of 2021! <laughs> Sit wherever you want. All right, Mill Avenue, Mill Avenue establishments just texted me and they said, I'm reading it here, we are ready. <laughs> so. so congratulations, uh, well done. We're proud to call you graduates of the Fulton Schools, new alumni. Uh, there are always going to be though homework assignments at any event involving ASU and the Fulton School. So you have two assignments. These are the same two assignments we give to graduates at every convocation. First, stay in touch. In person, social media, stay involved because we want to hear from you. We have a lot to do within the Fulton Schools. We need your help. Second, we started the ceremony by celebrating and acknowledging everybody who helped you. Parents, siblings, friends, spouses, whatever the case. Now it's your turn. Pay it forward. You benefited from help along the way. Be on the lookout for opportunities to help others. It does make a difference. That concludes our ceremony. Before we go, some instructions, just to make sure we can leave the arena in an orderly fashion. Up here on the platform party, we will stand and leave first. Please stay where you are until the platform party has reached the tunnel. Guests, if we may, please meet your graduates outside because the staff in the arena have to prepare for the next ceremony that will be coming soon. 
Thank you. Have fun. Celebrate. Please be safe. One more thing. Go Devils!
Sonic Man! 